Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. We are going to be talking about our experience on the Margaritaville. Paradise at sea, you baby. And what we're going to do is we are going to be grading our experience, our specific experience on the Margaritaville. We're going to grade it similar to what everybody's familiar with, like uh, uh, elementary school grading system. So you're going to have an A, B, C, D, basically uh, a score out of 100, essentially. So we'll take 10 topics, right? Yep, there's going to be 10 topics, food, cleanliness, the staff, entertainment, communication. We've got topics on the stateroom. Activities, the overall ship condition, embarkation, disembarkation, and the retail shops. Yep. And the score system will be from 1 to 10. 10 topics. So with yep. further ado, let's see how Margarita is going to score based off of our experience. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Dustin. I'm Priscilla, and we are with DPI Adventures. All right. So let's dig in. Everybody's first and most favorite topic to discuss on every cruise, the food. So what was your experience like with the food? So the food was interesting. Um, they had a specialty pizza, which was Lola. Mm. I absolutely loved it. We went, we went there twice. Yeah. Um, I loved it. Yeah, check out our video on that one. You'll yes. see a good review on that. Yep, definitely check that out. We had buffet, which mm -hmm. was... Hit or miss. Uh, yeah, it had good moments. It had not so good moments. Yeah. And... I'd say the not so good outweighed whatever little good there was, unfortunately. Yeah, and then we have Finn's, Finn's which yep. is their main dining. Finn's was really good, but until I happen to find a mysterious, uh, we thought it might have been a hair or a fiber of some sort, was unsure, so that kind of ended that meal quickly. Yeah, so we also covered that in one of our other videos, so definitely go watch that to see exactly. <laughs> what we found in our food you got it so with further ado i would give the food overall out of 10 four out of 10. yeah it was it was rough um we would have probably given them a little bit of a lower score if we didn't eat the pizza the pizza the pizza, so the pizza redeemed pizza themselves guys mm -hmm. so uh yeah check out our video on that it's it's worth a watch yep so, definitely worth all right, so let's move on. Let's talk about the cleanliness of the ship. What was your thoughts on that? So uh, the cleanliness was interesting. Um, the buffet area was, once again, it was rough. Oh, you um, went straight for the buffet area and the cleanliness. Yeah, the buffet area was rough. Um, again, check out one of our videos for little video evidence we'll say of the cleanliness you can kind of see it i really liked how everything was labeled so you clearly know what you were getting that was great yeah in regards to to the food yep yeah um the spa area was nice it smelled great our stateroom was you know was really good um they try to maintain you know the ship it was relatively clean but what i noticed was like even up on the pool deck the lido deck there was trash kind of left everywhere, but you know, that's also the, the passengers. So yeah. it was kind of um, a hit and miss there. The cleanliness, I think they tried really hard to keep up with the cleanliness mm -hmm. on there, but the amount of people that were coming on there, it was raining during our experience. Yeah. And then just the age of the ship really plays a factor in what you might think is you know, like a dirty carpet, but it's just been trampled on yeah, many been, voyages. So. Right. So with that said, um, we gave this one also a four. Yeah. Four out of ten. It could have been better, guys. I, I hate to say it, mm -hmm. but I'm a very big stickler for being clean. I'd say the cleanest area that I got to experience really was probably the most important one next to food, of course, is your stateroom. Yep. My bed was clean. My bathroom was clean. My room in general was clean. I don't know how that would have translated on a multi-night, like seven plus days or something, 
to be determined, but for the two days that we were there, it was pretty clean in that area. Mm -hmm. Other areas could have used some improvements, unfortunately. Yep. All right, our third topic. Topic number three is communication. And communication as in communication from staff and from like the, you know, the directors and captain. Um, this one was really interesting because I felt like none of the communication really matched what was happening. Um, I tell you, personal communication, one on one, having a chat with any of the staff was great mm -hmm. very yeah. friendly however understanding where you're going what you're doing what time things need to happen that was kind of a mess there literally was none to mm -hmm. be honest with you if there was announcements coming over the loudspeaker you couldn't clearly understand what was being said it's like a muffled sound i wouldn't even go as far as to say it's like a uh like a language barrier no it was more of like a speaker microphone barrier mm -hmm. um but when you talk to the staff one-on-one -on -one, for example talking to like orlando great great person i love yeah, you orlando. orlando is a cruise director it's my dude i love you orlando yep, we love you but when it comes down to communicating things like the sail away party well they yeah they kept announcing that there was a sail away party yeah, we were up there. We waited never half an hour. Happened. Never happened. And come um, to find out after talking with the cruise director, and, or maybe we found it out during a show, actually, announced it that it's because the DJ didn't make the ship. Yeah, our DJ never showed up, and we waited an extra hour. Uh, what? <laughs> so that was really interesting. Um, and then communication on disembarkation, too. Um there wasn't any, so. We all stood in the hallway where we shouldn't have been standing and crowding areas, mm -hmm. and it just made for a bad time for the staff, made a bad time for customers. It just wasn't good overall. Yeah. And one of the things that really bugged me is, you guys have seen it on some of our other videos, I like to read the itinerary. I like to go to my room and get that pamphlet like every other cruise line does. And it says, hey, at 9.30, this is happening. At 10.30, this is happening and so forth, right? That doesn't exist on this ship. Or at least in this sailing, there was no information. On a previous sailing I was on with them, I don't remember that being given to us there neither. So, oh, But then we found the itinerary, which was on, on the, the TV. TV. But um, it never matched anything but we're getting ahead of ourselves because that comes later on in the true. video so drum roll <laughs> what is the score you give us oh boy you're <laughs> gonna make me give this one i yep. give it a i give it a two sorry guys but yeah communication's key yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that all right so next topic is entertainment entertainment so Entertainment, I thought, on the ship, compared to some of these others that we've been on, was really good, actually. Mm. Um, some of the performers, you can see they're putting their heart and their soul into it. Costumes are really good. The comedy was actually funny. And, again, my favorite cruise director, I think, <laughs> was Orlando. Orlando yeah. And very friendly, very funny, very personable. He helped make the entertainment what True. it was. And we got to um, give a little shout out to Anna Banana. Yay, also. Anna Banana. Anna Banana, she was great. You're awesome. Yeah. Um, she made for a great time, great experience. She honestly treated you and me like we were long lost friends. Right. Like and we, she actually called us. Yeah. So, but go Check watch out our the video. video. <laughs> she called us and, yep. you know, Orlando, Anna Banana, and all of the entertainment crew, you guys were phenomenal. Yeah. You guys you guys did a great job. You, you, I enjoy I mean, their shows a lot, to be honest yeah. with you. Those made my experience much better. Mm -hmm. And thanks for putting on a good show, guys. Yeah. Multiple shows. Yep. So with that said, let's grade it. What would you give this score? Um, I would give it an 8 out of 10. All right. Yep. I agree. And... Uh, I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but 
the DJ that didn't show up, oh, the sell away party. It were, it were, it were, <laughs> It were, it were never. I love the sell away party <laughs> and the dancing that's involved and all of that fun stuff. So. Yeah, we love our sail away parties, our late night parties. Mm -hmm. Like another cruise line that we thoroughly enjoy does a really good white party, which. Yeah. So, enough <laughs> said about that. Our next topic is staff. staff. Yeah, and we kind of covered this a little bit with. Um, our topic just now, our entertainment. Yeah. Staff. Staff was phenomenal, right? Yep. Orlando, Anna Banana, all of the staff. Just yeah. anybody we talked to, mm -hmm. whether it was the people cleaning up when we did see these people cleaning up yeah. or whether we had to ask a question. Our stateroom attendant, everybody, um, the comedian, the bar staff, everybody was great. Yeah. Everybody that we had a pleasure of talking to mm -hmm. was very friendly, was welcoming, and helped make our experience better. Yeah, it was definitely because of all the staff that, you know, we had such a great time. So, I personally think they get a 9 out of 10. Yeah, you guys did. It, for us, you went above and beyond every yes. chance that you could. Yes. We understand customer service and, you know, you got to deal with service and mm -hmm. being happy but you guys took it upon yourselves to go the extra mile for yeah. us and thank you kindly yes every chance you guys did you guys made it great for us yeah so this kind of goes along with staff a little bit but our stateroom did we no we didn't score this one yet we didn't give it a final score no i think i said nine out of ten right nine out of ten nine out of ten so all right so our stateroom yes Honestly, I think the favorite part about the stateroom was just the bed, the pillows. I love their pillows. Oh, my gosh. But hold on. See, you say their bed and their pillow was great. So My half. His half of the bed was great. My half of the bed was broken. There was like a huge divot. So like... <laughs> So when I first lay down, it's fine, right? It's nice and flat. But the longer I laid, like I was stayed on the bed and laying down, <laughs> <laughs> like it started like caving in. Not only it caves in in the middle, it caved in like to one side. So I kind of fell into a <laughs> hole. Um, so that was good times for, for me. Like you were just like, yeah, it's fantastic. And I'm like, can you please come dig me out of the hole that... I found myself in. My side was great, guys. Like, to be honest with you, that one half that bed, like, hey, was spot on. But you got to be considerate of your your fellow travel mates, your partner, mm -hmm. your lover, whoever. And that, unfortunately, wasn't <laughs> great. Uh, the bathroom was clean. It was um, clean. But, and I remember this from a previous sailing, and I think it's just the age of the ship. Mm -hmm. The showers in there, guys, they're old. Yeah. Your drainage on there is... Yeah, the drain... The, the floor is constantly wet. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah, and the, and the water doesn't drain. Great. Great. And then there was a slight delay with the toilet, but there was no issue. I mean, it was just a slight delay after you pushed the button. An older ship there. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what we can chalk that up to, so... You know, yeah. but it was clean in there. I got to admit, they cleaned the room spot on. Mm -hmm. In our other video, you even mentioned right away, wow, it smells clean. Yeah. So. But I think the reason why I'm giving it a little bit of a lower grade, one, Not just I, slept, I slept in like a foxhole or something. <laughs> um, but the smell in the hallway kept coming through our vent. Um People were smoking, and it was coming through the vent. Yeah. And that was that yeah. was not fun. So with that, I am giving it a 5 out of 10. I agree. Yeah. Other, I mean, I would like to give it, you know, a higher score. But you got to be honest, though, hard. I mean, the bed is one of the things that you look forward to mm -hmm. most. I mean, we can look the other way about smoke from time to time. But that totally killed it. For I know. Me, why so. didn't Why didn't you take that side of the bed on the second night? Why 
Why weren't you like nice and We have sweet? our favorite sides of the bed. I can Maybe we need to make another video about that, about I, I can preferred have a sides new, of the bed. I can have a new favorite side of the bed that doesn't involve me being in a crater. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, let's move on. So, we, oh, we, no, we got to give it a score first. So, we our, did. oh, we did. <laughs> See how I tried to change subject there, guys? Is All it right. because I said I slept in a crater? Yes, <laughs> yes, a foxhole, I believe you mentioned. So, All right, so the next topic is activities. <laughs> Yay! So, like we said earlier, we like our sail away parties, we like parties we we like you know karaoke just stuff to bingo, do bingo just literally anything around the ship we anything anything give us something to do we've actually realized that um the reason we don't stay in our staterooms too much is we get fomo yeah fear of missing out yeah. we just realized that i've heard other cruisers mention that like when you're on a ship you always almost have this sense of like you're missing out on something mm -hmm. like the party's happening over there why am i not with the party so we're those people and so with this specific sailing we kept looking for activities well activities never came because our specific sailing there was a um Era, a Era huge... dj never showed never well, yeah, showed up dj never showed up but then there was also a huge party like um oh like over maybe a oh, yeah. hundred people it yeah. was like a, a, either like a high school reunion or uh, a family some type of reunion, reunion. Yeah. something was going on so they kept closing sections sections like large whole sections of the ship like the um the club was closed at one point yeah. the back um karaoke kar was karaoke closed. we couldn't you find like karaoke. karaoke um the back <laughs> the back what is it what is it stars over water i believe it's called that ba that back area was closed at one point so like every time we kept trying to go to other areas of the ship they would have it shut down and private event in progress yeah and the door was, would be closed and it's like mm -hmm. oh okay so that happened pretty much you know both days yeah we couldn't find really anything to do i mean the only thing we were able to to find a do and was able to go do was just bingo um other than that if I, mean, I remember right you had a pretty good time playing bingo too mm. so i won all the prizes at bingo um let me brush it off for you yeah yeah i kind of have a little bit of a recap um with that but yeah i ended up winning all the prizes but i was prepared for karaoke Mm, okay. I actually had a song. It Save was it. happening. Save it. We're going to have it's another future video. I was so another bummed out. Another future cruise. So, with that said, this was this was kind of a rough one for them. Like I said, this is only our sailing specifically. We give it a two. Yeah. And to be honest with you guys the itinerary communicating that type of stuff that could have prevented a lot of that mm -hmm. so yeah unfortunately you know and then it goes back to we would find the itinerary on the tv and it didn't match and it would never match yeah. because everything was closed for the private event um, or dj never so, and his audience and nobody was just rocking it somewhere else we yeah. just didn't know so sorry guys so yeah. two for that it is what it is mm-hmm all right, so let's move on. Let's hopefully get some better news here. Let's talk about overall ship condition. Damn it, why did I pick this up? <laughs> all right. Pardon my language. If so, there's kids <laughs> listening to this, please. Uh, I'm okay, sorry we for, all know. For foul language. We all know the ship is is an older ship. We yeah. we know this. Um, yeah. And let's say it definitely needs to be dry docked. Um, and that's a powerful statement redone, but there were leaks everywhere. There was uh, leaks. There was mold. There was mildew. Mm -hmm. It was musty. Yeah. You know, I mean, again, yeah. The theater, if you look 
up at the ceiling in the theater. There was mold everywhere. Um, the leaking in the buffet, that was, you know, a little bit of water drip condensation is one thing, but then we witnessed a worker with a mop that was mopping the floor, literally was mopping the floor, turned the mop around and started mopping, mopping the, the ceiling, ceiling with the same mop. In the buffet, people. When the buffet was open. So I would walk people, around this person with a plate of food. And he was just mopping the floor, mopping the ceiling. Um, there was just a lot of mold moldy smells um the in the wood. theater i didn't yeah. notice it until for some reason you were like hey look up and we looked up. it was like black mold oh that's the reason why is because the guy sitting in front of us was sitting there and oh, yeah, was like, all of a sudden it was dripping on his yeah, head yeah it was like leaking this on his poor head. guy i felt bad for him mm -hmm. he turned around and looked at me too like like i spilled something on him for, i didn't do it man i swear and then we all looked up and it, it was, was like, dripping yeah, it was like dripping. It was like black mold. The carpet was looked like it was always wet because it was raining. So the carpet looked wet. Um, the musty and moldy smell and the and the buffet almost looks like it has like wood rot in certain places because the wood is like kind of mushy. The floor is like squishy. Like mm -hmm. eventually something's gonna fall through unfortunately yeah if that does not get addressed and there was flooding on the decks like you know two inches three inches of water everywhere um but you know we know it's an older ship but it just needs some love guys yeah even an old ship can be refreshed mm -hmm. and retaken care of and yeah and you know the mode part is really concerning because you can get people sick yeah. um so that was that was concerning so with that i have to give it a solid one out of ten mm -hmm. and yeah i'm sorry it's it's comes down to public health and public safety at this point and yeah. i know that's a very powerful statement to say but we gotta come to you truthful and we have to look out for you mm -hmm. yeah you're our adventurers and we're just looking out for you. Yeah. So that's enough said about that. Let's move on. So the embarkation and disembarkation process. Yippee! Wow. It was a bit rough. Um, You know, with... Well, it was controlled chaos, maybe, that is a good way to put it. Because we got there and ended up having to wait outside for over an hour mm -hmm. and then when we finally made it inside this was um getting into the um, check-in the check-in so when we finally were, were able to get in we still waited for another probably half an hour 30 40 minutes yeah uh-huh um there was no real communication from staff so everybody was getting really really cranky um we just were okay you know we were okay waiting um we're Disney people, so, you know, waiting is normal. Used to lines and used to grumpy people. Yeah, but, like, people were getting really upset and really and angry. With that said, you know, attitudes are contagious. They mm -hmm. really are. Once people start getting grumpy and start complaining, then everybody else chimes in. And it was the same way on disembarkation. When everybody's standing there waiting, they start getting grumpy, then they start talking trash. Yeah, and people are like trying to push their way up front. Yeah, and it just creates an overall bad experience. Mm -hmm. But again, things can be resolved with communication. Proper yeah. communication. Yeah, we had no idea what was going on with disembarkation. Um, no clue. We were waiting for about 30 minutes. Um, nothing was said. And then finally, when somebody came on the overhead and was like telling everybody to Not go stand where we were standing, yeah, that like, we shouldn't be there, that they should go towards the buffet or, or elsewhere. And then they'll give us a um, notice and then we can come back. But literally like two, two minutes after the announcement, when people were starting to go away, they 
started letting people off the ship, which was interesting. Um, yeah. Due to lack of communication and overall customer dissatisfaction, that really just ruined it for us. Mm -hmm. And the amount of time that it took. I mean, really, this is a smaller ship, a lot less people. It should have been much more smooth. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, we also had VIP privileges, which was communicated to us that we would have been able to get off without having to wait, without having to sit in line, anything. Well, unfortunately, that did not happen. Yeah, which was okay, you know. Um... It was for us because of our situation, but for other people who would have to pay extra money to receive these services, VIPs, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I... You did not get any special treatment. Mm. You were in the back of the line just like everyone else. Yeah. So, you know, so with that said, it's a it's a hard score. Um, yeah. You it know, is. and it's minor improvements. You know, like waiting is fine, but communication, it comes back to communication. Um, so we gave it a one. Um, only because we just had no idea what was going on at yeah. all. Um, and maybe, you know, have the guy that was holding the line just be like giving everybody an update, um, but none of that happened. But, you know, they, could, they, they did while we were exiting. Um, one of the uh, um, crew members, I believe, um, I can't remember what was his name, I think Christopher maybe, I don't um, remember. I'm sorry. Actually pulled us I aside. I was just ready to leave at that point in time. Yeah, so. pulled us aside to make sure that everything was okay and everything was good yeah. for us, which was really, really nice. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, goes back to the staff. You know, yeah. they were super friendly when you would talk to them, and they were great. They yep. were your friends. Mm -hmm. So, all right, all right, but let's move on. We're Our last one, shopping. Yay. So, I like shop. Every, yeah, everybody likes to shop. I like to spend money on him. Yeah, especially him. I make he, it and love to spend it. He goes in and out of those shops multiple times just in case, you know. <laughs> just in case I'll find something new, you is know. It's brand like, new from 10 minutes ago. So, you really do, though. Yes, yes. The but shops were great. You, you never complain. Though, no, because so. then I get stuff. There you go. But the shops right. were great on Margaritaville. They were. Yeah, the shops were great, especially given if it's you're a looking. smaller ship, mm -hmm. right? They had four shops, right? One, two, three, three, four, three or four, three or four shops, like something the, like that. The liquor store, or like yeah, two yeah, to okay. Three. There yeah. was like four. Um, they were great. Uh, yeah, they you want Margaritaville stuff? stuff? Got it. Anything, yeah. yeah. So Margaritaville jewelry, mm -hmm. um, some souvenirs, yep. some duty free stuff, yeah. Some perfumes, colognes, tobaccos, alcohols, whatever you want. Yeah. That's right there. It is small, so keep in mind. You know, it's not like some of these other mega liners where you can go full blown shop and come out with a whole new wardrobe out of there. You can't do that. Um, but here, you know, for the size of the ship, I think they did pretty well, actually. I mean. It's some you cool can stuff. technically get some Crocs with ah, the this, margarita salt shaker and the line, margarita baby, salt yeah. shakers on them. Yep, that was kind of cool. Like if if we wore Crocs, if I wore Crocs, then yeah, I I could. You rock would them. wear like the Margaritaville Crocs. Yeah, but I can't wear Crocs, so um, <laughs> we're just gonna nip that one in the butt now. So, without further ado, let's grade this score here. Uh, we give it a seven. Yeah. I would say a 7 mm -hmm. out of 10 because, you know, for the size and the selection, it is pretty good. So, I mean, go. I don't know why we don't even just give it a 10. I don't know. But I feel like I was, I was always looking for something <sighs> that I couldn't find. Correct. And part of the reason why selection, um, size, yeah, and just... They didn't have everything that you could want and need. And mm -hmm. so that's the reason why we're grading it. And I'm going to give it, for without further ado, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So, 10 topics, a score of 1 to 10. All right, drum roll, please. 
All right, so, and the score is womp womp womp. A 43. Yeah. Okay. About that. So once again, we were talking about our specific sailing. Yes. And not the line, not anybody else's sailing. We're talking about ours specifically for that specific day. So don't come at us because, you know, your sailing was a lot better. So, we're just being truthful. Yeah. And from what we experienced overall, unfortunately... This particular sailing, our experience, resulted in a failing grade. Yeah, 43 out of 100. Hopefully, you guys get a better experience than us. I got to admit, and you know, at the end of the day, I really love some of the staff on there. Mm -hmm. You guys made my experience so yeah. much better, and I wish, I wish that I could have given you a better score. If we were the only grading staff... It'll you guys, great. you guys are top notch. So, you guys are probably one of the best that we've actually yeah. encountered. Sailing, we've been on many cruises. We've been on how many this year already? Five? Five or six. Five easy, or six yeah. this year. So, so I hope no hard feelings. I hope this is just honest truth from two sailors, you know, and hopefully there'll be some changes made. And we hope, hope to see you guys again. Yeah. All right, Margaritaville. Thank you, adventurers. Thanks for spending all this time with us. And thank you, Margaritaville. Right. And if you like our stuff, make sure you like and subscribe. We are going to be dropping videos at least once a week on Friday. Um, we are going to be bringing you additional content here next week. We've got a lot of cruise ships that we are going to be reviewing so not just this one, Margaritaville. And we have um, a few cruises coming up here real soon also. So you'll be seeing that. Once again, I am Priscilla. I'm Dustin. We'll see you later. Adios.